you're watching Colisco News. I'm Kathleen Brachner and today we will talk about blockchain solutions in banking of the future with CEO and founder of Kasha Project, Kumar Gaurav. Meet Kumar Gaurav, the founder and CEO of Kesha Holdings and chairman of Oxysis Group. Kesha received $33 million during the token sale in 2017, out of which $14 million was rejected due to strict AML and KYC policy set up by Kesha. Kumar, a serial entrepreneur who is among the 100 most influential blockchain people in the world and was awarded extraordinary status 01 by the United States government of his accomplishments in the blockchain industry. Kumar is a popular international speaker on emerging technologies and was invited at IIT, Tycoon, TechCrunch, Government Parliament and many private and government conferences across the globe. He was recently nominated as one of the world's top 50 innovators from the industries of the future. Before he moved into the world of financial technology, he built computer systems for Ferrari. We told you in our news releases about Kesha project that will change the banking system by blockchain technology. Recall, Kesha raised $33 million with token sale. More than 53,000 people from 119 countries participated in it. So meet Kumar Gaurav, founder and CEO of Kesha project. Hello, Mr. Gaurav. Nice to see you again in Ecolosco News Studio. Let's talk about Kesha's development since the token sale. And for beginning, what is your estimation of Kesha's token sale? Did it so successful as you expected? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think Kesha token sale, uh, uh, what I consider is a successful uh, sale. And not just because we have reached the hard cap, uh, but more than that, the team have done a tremendous effort to make sure that the money which we have received is fully compliant so that it does not stop us in future uh, for or create any kind of regulatory issues. Um, mm -hmm. We had a hard say, a cap of 32 million, but we reached to 33, more than 33 million dollars. So obviously in terms of number, it was a success, very clear. Uh, but then we went through this vigorous KYC and AML policies, the compliance which we wrote. We tried to follow as much as as industry, uh, you know, international compliance. And because we have more than 100 countries, we had to come up with a vast, you know, a very diversified framework. And proudly, I can say that the team have done a great effort there, and we have rejected around 14.7 million dollars, uh, so that uh, to conclude our token sale. On the 12th of May, Kesha launched the OTC exchange where the buyer can buy and store tokens. What OTC is and how is it works? Uh, so what happened uh, after the token sale, because Kesha is a utility token, correct? So, uh, and there are many users uh, in the Kesha token sale. Uh, I would like to reveal also this number here that we have more than 40% funds actually uh, tokens bought in dollars unlike most of the token sale where you have only cryptocurrencies coming for the purchase correct and because we had this diversified and huge number of pool of people who never bought any crypto but they believed in the Kasha project and they believe that the Kasha is become important in their lives uh, because of the reason they have to use to send money or they have a financial banking problem so they bought this token sale in the USD or the native currency so what we realized that most of these unsophisticated users they are still not ready to go to buy on any exchange although we got listed in one of the top exchanges we still received people mailing us that hey we cannot we don't know what this exchange we never get into the crypto will we believe in a cash project and we want to buy tokens directly from the company because uh, in this way we feel it more legitimate and more trustworthy so we came up with a very small module of Kasha OTC where what we did we 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 we, we are taking the pain point of collecting the tokens from the exchanges uh, wherever it's trading and providing our those non-sophisticated user directly cash token so that they can um, so that they can purchase cash token as a utility to use the Kasha application or Kasha ecosystem you divided OTC launching into three phases. What is the reason and what is the main each of three phases? So in a cash ecosystem, there are main two projects are there. One is the exchange 
exchange between crypto to crypto and exchange between fiat to any crypto and then we have a second application which is our banking application where users can store uh, fiat currencies as well as cryptocurrency correct now if we see this in a future how i see that this both the projects can both the products can be merged into one product into a complete cash a banking application where you can have crypto and fiat can live together side by side but as long as this is not happening because of the regulatory or because of the lack of framework we, de we decided to keep this two separate project one is the project where people can store save uh, spend fiat money uh, and um, and also can store crypto and the second is the exchange where they can convert fiat into crypto and that is exchange now if we take the exchange product and we split it again we divide it into three parts one is just the otc where we are uh, decided to sell crypto tokens for the fiat or a different crypto then the second part where we will also enable sell and buy both the functions and third where we will not have just the otc because OTC is like over the counter trade, correct? Which means I have an inventory and you, you want to buy and I sell you. And the third phase, what we did, we made it complete peer to peer, which means you don't have to go through an intermediary like Kasha as an OTC, but users can do it by themselves. But on any exchange, if I have a new exchange and I try to do it in the beginning, this doesn't work because it's, it's more like a chicken and egg problem that you're gonna have a buyer first or seller first. But if you break into three steps, like you release the, the buy option, so you have onboarded all the buyers, then you onboarded all the sellers, and then you have a network where you have buyers and sellers, so you gave the community a third product that, hey, now you can also do by yourself. You don't need an OTC. So that's the main reason of splitting into three steps. On the next steps on your roadmap is regulatory approvals and integration with networks in Europe and India. What do token holders must know about this? Uh, this is more like an internal, you know, back backend system. So token holder really does not have to worry much about this. This is most of the lawyer's job, which we have. It's my job to go and talk to regulators, you know, uh, talk to different governments, talk to different compliance and see that how we can bring this ecosystem of fiat and crypto together. Uh, what I can say that uh, uh, in the update in this direction that our lawyers in UK have already started working on it and they are predicting the timeline uh, by end of October November to have all these regulatory approvals and uh, everything on the place. Would you like add something about Cash's development in the token sale? Yeah, so uh, obviously if anyone from outside to try to see they we have put a tremendous amount of efforts in regulatory and compliance. Uh, it's being of returning money or doing KYC in 119 countries, creating a very uh, a vast framework. Uh, but other than this, on the technology side, uh, the product side, we have onboarded very good people uh, who have built uh, a, a fantastic product in the financial industry. We have recently onboarded people from uh, Access Bank, ICICI Bank, which is the largest bank in India, uh, people from Barclays, people from HSBC, people from JP Morgan, uh, people from BNP Parivas. So we, we are really adding a lot of people who can help us to create the, the next banking solution. And we are bringing prop people from so, these huge banks uh, who, who, who have not just a great experience of working, but now they also understand what are the problem in these big banks and how we can as a, come as a team and solve this problem. And we have already onboarded, like our team have grown to 28 people, which is exp which is planned to be expanded by end of June to 49 people uh, to deliver this solution, which we are working on. Thank you, Kumar, for your time. We'll keep an eye on your progress because we're sure you will make worldwide banking more transparency and trustful. Thank you so much. It was Kumar Gaurav, founder and CEO of Kesha in Ecolisco and U Studio. Stay with us.